In places where steelhead are spotable, it's very much like hunting. You know, in hunting you try to spot your quarry and if you aren't close enough for a shot, then you have to sneak into position to get where you can get a shot in. Um, so in a lot of ways, it is quite a bit like hunting. My name is Roy Wilden. I'm a high school teacher, a fly fisherman, and filmmaker. I'm really into fishing. Started out fishing because my family lived on a riverbank when I was growing up. And around the time I turned into a teenager, I took up fly fishing and basically set aside my spinning rod from then on. Fly fishing became my only way of doing it, basically. I started out sea run cutthroat fishing. Around the time I went to university, I started to get more into steelhead fishing and now I'm predominantly into steelhead fishing with a little bit of trout and a little bit of salmon fishing thrown in, but always in rivers. Summer steelhead are my favorite. I do fish for winter runs, but uh, summer runs are a lot more aggressive, a lot more fun, uh, more enjoyable weather to fish in. I tried winter steelheading and it was definitely a struggle for winter steelhead. Um, some places you'd go you'd, you'd have a bit of success but there's a lot of days of not catching much. First day that I fished for the summer runs, um, I rose five steelhead to dry flies, landed three of them, and so uh, you know it actually for summer runs it kicked off real well and uh, I had great success that day. They are a super spooky fish, and if they see you first, the chances of catching them probably go down by about 90% or more. So, definitely a super stealth approach, a slow approach. You know, there are places that I'll slide down a bank and try and be, be real slow in approaching. Um, if I'm trying to spot fish, I'll try to be in behind the tree line uh, so they can't see me. You know, if you're in high, dirty water, obviously none of that applies so much. Maybe the noisy footfalls would apply, uh, but otherwise, you know, be slow and careful. Uh, some of the places I go, uh, you're into canyons. Water. And there's definitely some sketchy situations. Um, don't tell your wife about them. spots. Usually I won't wade too deep um, unless I know I have an, an out. If 
I get in October or something, I could get up and, and angle my way out. Um, I don't want to be pushed into a deep pool and, and be in serious trouble. But uh, yeah, there's high waters uh, and you do need to be careful.